This is Mama Gina's School of Womanly Arts, using the power of pleasure to have your way with the world. And it is exactly what it sounds like and a lot more. Let me explain. Uh, this is by a lady named Regina Thomas Hauer, and I hope I'm saying that name right. Uh, they call her Mama Gina, and she is a relationship coach, but she discovered after being super burned out just how much, especially as women, that we kind of don't allow ourselves to have pleasure. And actually, that's kind of the way that we create in the world. If you think about it, men are kind of like, push, 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 push. Women, we create through pleasure. It's just easier and cooler and we're more like flow and go with the flow, right? So I was kind of pushing my way in this man's world and then pff, now I kind of go with the flow. But let me just explain a little bit. Um, this is pretty cool. I'll read a little bit to you. Uh, like I said, this is a must read for any woman because like most women feel super guilty doing anything for themselves because we're the caregivers. We got to make sure that the you know, kids are fed and the husband's got fed and everyone, the family's taken care of. Um, so this is a, a little quick introduction. I'll just read you a little bit. Have no fear. Mama Gina is here. This book is your roadmap to the heart and skull, the scintillating core of being a woman. It's the result of 12 years research into what women want and what makes us happy. It's a how to guide for living a completely fulfilled life. Sounds good, doesn't it? The key to this wonderful life is what I call the womanly arts, a set of skills and behaviors that you already know, but you may have forgotten about. If practiced passionately and enthusiastically, these arts allow every woman to reveal in her own fabulousness. They give her the power to create a life of pleasure, abundance, and full gratification. I want you to start thinking about the life you would have if you could. I want you to envision your own fantasy land. Give free reign to this vision of your desired lifestyle and don't let it be dominated by someone else's plans for you. Do you see a life that allows for intimacy, family, responsibility, creativity, great sex, flexible time, and flexible emotions? Do you see days filled with alone time or shared activities with a bevy of friends, family, and children? Do you see hours spent volunteering or making big bucks in a high power career or creating the next great painting or novel? Do you see yourself in a rural place or by the beach or up in the mountains or in a small town or in a city apartment? Do you see a life spent with love or filled with a myriad of interesting and exciting partners? Maybe you see yourself picking a bit of this and a dash of that. Whatever your vision is, however unlikely, unorthodox or unacceptable, get ready to run with it. Your feelings are the utmost priority. Your desires are more important than anyone else's deadlines or mandates. Great book, guys. Really good book. Get it, get selfish, and you'll be able to take care of other people so much better. So 